Let's go ahead and bring in Josh. Josh, it's going to be a beautiful weekend for anyone in town for the tournament. Uh, that it is. And for tonight, really kind of kicking off that mm -hmm. nice weather. Enjoying the sunshine, finally, after a very soggy week for us, if not even a stormy week for some, as we saw thunderstorms roll their way into parts of western Oregon and Washington. But not the case tonight, getting back up into the low 60s and that sunshine taking us through the sunset hour. There you go, a pretty picture for you. Mount Hood in all of its glory from the Vancouver waterfront. Thanks to the Hotel Indigo Kirkland Tower camera for giving us that view. 55 degrees is where we currently sit, and we're slowly breaking apart that cloud coverage, and we'll continue to do so as we march our way through the rest of this evening as those temperatures get back up into the low 60s. So definitely starting to feel more like the spring season for us here across the Pacific Northwest. You can see with our satellite, a lot of those clouds decreasing with no rain actively falling, with the exception of just the offshore locations. That's the last little bit of moisture that's holding on to parts of the coastline that is also on its way out. Now we've managed to see a nice drink of water over the past week or so and with the entirety of the month helping to shrink that deficit down to about nine tenths of an inch as our rainfall totals for Portland are seeing about two and three quarters of an inch. So we'd still like to see just a little bit more of the moisture return, but not likely the case for the rest of March as we've sat above the average today's average 59 now for about nine days and we'll start to jump up by about 10 degrees compared to yesterday's 51 for our afternoon high. Now as qu at April quickly approaches, we're really looking at a warmer weather pattern trend for us here across the Pacific Northwest and much of the northern sections of the country. So if you're traveling in April, likely going to be nice for us as we also expect to see slightly drier conditions for this April here in Western Oregon and Washington, but that doesn't mean we can't have an outlier here in there as our average daytime high temperatures for the month of April right around 62 are expected high today as those overnight lows only get back into the mid 40s and we average about two and three quarters of an inch of moisture in the month of April. But this is a warming and a slightly drying month for us by the first and this is no April Fool's Day joke. 59 degrees is our average daytime high by the final day of April. Try 66. So jumping a significant amount as we continue to march our way through the spring season. But the latest stormy activity that we've been dealing with is on the move, tracking its way along the coastline of California's drier skies once again return. We're talking about more sunshine, temperatures back up into the low to mid 60s, and it just so happens to be falling over our Easter weekend as another other system is spinning over the Gulf of Alaska, tries to push its way into our area, but high pressure just too strong over Washington and Oregon to really see any activity come from it. So here's our timeline with our future cast, keeping those clearing skies for the rest of this evening as we get back up into the upper 50s and the low 60s. Tomorrow morning, waking up with plentiful sunshine, a little bit of an easterly wind, keeping those temperatures on the cooler side in the upper 30s. By the afternoon, enjoy the sunshine. Highs back into the mid 60s in many cases, 50s for the coastline. As we see a bit of patchy fog start to develop for the start of the day on Easter Sunday, that will quickly mix out as those daytime highs once again climbing into the low 60s. Now for today, we expect that high to sit comfortably at 62 degrees. The clouds will continue to break apart as the winds behave themselves out the north northeast at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. For tonight, with those clearing skies, that will allow for those early morning lows to fall back into the upper 30s. But if we look back at the past several Easter's, the last 10 of them, keep in mind that Easter Sunday does move around on the calendar, but you'll notice the record breaking conditions set back in 2013 where we saw a daytime high of 77 degrees, not likely to break any records by any stretch this Easter, but still a comfortable low 60s for us as our seven day forecast does paint a bit of a dry picture at least through Tuesday. The rain showers not returning until we get to Wednesday and Thursday, but look at that daytime high on Tuesday 71 will wow. be nice. But a shock to the system when we fall back to the 50s on Wednesday. But, you know, a lot of folks enjoying the sunshine that we'll see here over the next several days. Yeah, five-day break. Five-day break. We'll take it. All right, thanks, Josh. We'll be right back.